Good morning guys! Today I wanted to talk a little bit about my Coco Zell plant. Um, this is actually similar to zucchini except it has some stripes on it. And you're gonna harvest it a little smaller um, but this is a great plant. Uh, the stems are much hardier than the zucchini if you guys grow zucchini here, you already know that the squash vine borers love to destroy your plants. Um, this seems to be much hardier. I grew it last year, got a ton of squash. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you what I'm dealing with right now. All right guys, so this is the Cocozelle squash plant. Well, there's multiple here. I think I have about four. One, two, three, four. Um, these get very big, very, very big. Um, so <laughs> be on the watch for that. And these are notorious for having way too many leaves. Um, I love to um, cut back some of the leaves a lot of the time because of these right here. See those? Those are squash bugs. They love squash, especially my Cocozelle. So what do I do? I grab them, if I can with one hand, put them on here, and I squash them. Did I get it? Okay, yeah, I got one, got two. Squash them, guys. Um, squash bugs are terrible. Look, they lay eggs everywhere, all over the leaves. And their babies hatch and they suck the nutrients out of your plant. Look at this. The, see the eggs? They are literally all over these leaves. Um, you have a couple choices. You can take the eggs off of the leaves. You can take off the leaves <laughs> and you can just squish the bugs. Look, here's more. They're mating. They love each other so much. So I am going to take these bugs off. Oops, I didn't make you on there. And squish them. Now, now that that's done, um, I wanted to show you a little bit about hand pollination. So I obviously have a lot of plants. I have a lot of, lot of, lot of plants. I have a lot of natives, wildflowers, veggies, um, pollinator plants like borage, bee balm, cosmos. I've got all sorts of stuff. So I don't really have an issue with pollinators, but that doesn't mean that you don't have an issue. You may have an issue with, pollin with pollinators not coming in your garden. And those pollinators can be bees, um, all just all sorts of bugs I can't really think of right now. So what do you do? So what you do is you find a female, see the belly right there? And then you find a male. No belly. So you're gonna take off the petals. See, I took off the petals. And you are going to wipe this in the female plant, right on. That powder is what pollinators move from one flower to the next. That ensures pollination. And now that for sure is be gonna, gonna become a Cocozelle squash, for sure, because I watched it pollinate. You can go around and do that to the majority of your flowers, as long as you have a male and a female. It's always worked for me every time I've done it. So it is nearly guaranteed. So these squash are actually really cool too, because they crawl.
they also crawl. They're not, it's crazy because it's like, it's like a ginormous <laughs> zucchini plant kind of sprawling out. It's not like a vine. I don't know. It's so weird. I'm going to show you real quick. I have so many. You see how it starts here? Well, it's kind of vining out like this. A very slow, strong vine. And look, more zucchini. This this gives me, whoa, Cocozelle. This gives so much squash. I probably harvested, man, I don't even know, easily like 50 squash last year. It was pretty amazing. I highly recommend it. The, just the key is to kill the squash bugs, take off the squash eggs, hand pollinate if you need to. Uh, a lot of the time, if you have too many leaves, you may have to cut back some of the leaves um, because you want the pollinators to go in there. Sometimes if there are too many leaves, the, they'll just kind of go right past it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I helped you with the Cocozelle squash. Um, it's very simple, easy, to the point. I love you guys. God bless you.